Hi, this is Ethan from Dark Zebra, and today I just wanted to cover the Docker Exec command, which is a new feature added in Docker version 1.3. The Exec command allows us to inject new processes into an already running container. To give you a better idea of what I mean by this, currently I have a Docker container running named MongoDB, which is a MongoDB database, and it is what I use in my MongoDB tutorials. Right now, if I need to run and connect to it, uh, because this container already has a process running, which is the database, I have to create a new container, which will link to the old container, to the database. So I go MongoDB, and I'm going to have my local name be DB. Run the same image, and I'm going to run bash inside of that image. And now if I type in ENV for my environment, you can see that I have, uh, this is the host that I need to connect to. So I'll grab that variable. I will connect to that database. And now you can see I am connected to this database. I have a dark zebra database in there and it has all of my table or my collections inside of that dark zebra database. So that's not too inconvenient, but let's say that I need to do something like backup uh, a database. Well, right now, I because I've done the dash dash rm, my container will be removed when I'm done. So I can't use this current container, which means I need to run another container and I need to link a volume to it. And we're going to say slash backup. And you'll notice I'm in this lessons backup container. And uh, I've got to make sure and know that variable name that I had to pull out there because I'm attached to a different one. So MongoDB, sorry, I'm going to run Mongo dump this time, dash H, got to remember that variable name. And I've got to run Dark Zebra to the Dark Zebra database. And this should dump into my current directory. But that's kind of a lot more work. But that's okay. It's, it's not too big of a deal. I just got to remember my variables. Oh, I grabbed the wrong. I forgot my Mongo image. I'm running the Mongo dump command inside of that. Oh, well, problem here is that this variable is getting evaluated before it gets into here. And so once again, I have that, the dollar sign gets evaluated from inside. So I don't remember what the, what it was. Uh, and, and, and basically you can see this is kind of a problem. Uh, I'm not going to solve it right now because I can't remember how to solve it right now. I, I've done something very similar. A lot of times what I'll do is actually go into a bash shell and then execute the dump into my shared volume. But it's, it's kind of a pain in the neck. And so we face this problem a lot. You might have done something very similar. I have a video on backing up WordPress. It goes through a similar process. Maybe you've had to debug a running container and you don't know what's going on. And it's extremely difficult to get inside and see that. So what Docker exec does is it allows us to attach to an existing container and inject a brand new process into it. So it will have two processes running. So our Docker container name was MongoDB, and I'm gonna run bash on it. And like that, I can now run Mongo, and I can use Dark Zebra, show collections, and there we go. That easy, I have connected to the actual container. I don't need to run a second container and it links to it or anything. I just run a second process on top of it. Where this is really, really awesome 
is when I want to do something like, well, for instance, debug, I can go in and do a bash and look at everything that's running and see if there's a problem, look at all the variables and the system, things going on inside of a system. But let's say I want to just back up a database. I can type in Mongo dump. Uh, I can do dash H local host, dash D, dark zebra. It's going to dump it into Go. Oh. After you Mongo dump, it's going to dump it into this dump dark zebra folder. And now I can just use the docker cp command, which is copy. And I can say mongodb, which is the container name, uh, dump slash dark zebra. And I want to copy it to my local directory here. And I am missing mistyping today and now if I look I have my dark zebra backed up and that was really simple in fact it was two commands the docker exec to create my my backup file and in fact I don't need the dash h localhost I can just type d dark zebra like that and I've created the backup file and the second one is this the cp command. Now from an outside perspective this makes it extremely easy for me to create a shell script that will back up a containers database or, or, or my, my database data and I can have it run every single night back up to the same location and, and I don't have to worry about very complicated processes of starting up new containers, volumes and all of that. I can just do two commands to back everything up. Now this does not mean uh, that we've gotten rid of the idea that only run one process per container. It's still a good idea to keep one process per container. But if you need to get in to do something like a quick backup or to debug, this allows you to inject a second one, do some work, and then exit out of that. So uh, I want to thank you all for your support. And please feel free to leave a comment with questions. I do my best to answer those. And rate the video. Let me know if you like it and share it with your friends. Uh, I appreciate it and you have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching this Dark Zebra presentation. Please rate this video and add it to your favorites if you liked it. For additional content, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at darkzebra.com.